You never expect a friction fire to be easy because it isn't. Hello YouTube. Sorry if I look like I just climbed out of a volcano, but uh, it just turned so bloody hot today. It's like, today it's like 26 degrees Celsius, and last week it was about 4 degrees Celsius, so that's an incredible change. Uh, I'm having some trouble, uh, trouble adapting here. So what better to do on a day like this than make a friction fire, or attempt a friction fire using the Fogon even A1 Pro. My new beast. And so what I'm going to do, I'm going to collect some pine wood because I really like that for friction fire. I'm going to make a, uh, a drill and board to make a friction fire. Alright. So I'm here under some pines and I just found this. Um, I just found this piece of wood. This uh, looks like the top of uh, the spruce. Uh, it will be suitable for both the board and as you can see it's pretty long so it will be suitable for both the board and uh, the and the drill. So uh, no cutting action here. <laughs> going to take this part and you have to you really have to uh, to feel if the wood is dry you can use your lips for that and the wood doesn't, um, if the wood is too soft, you won't get a fire. So uh, you, you want to look for dry, dry wood that it isn't too hard, but isn't too soft either. So you just go and try some, uh, some different types of wood, some different, different types of hardnesses yourself, and uh, see what's best for you. I think, I think this, is, this will be fine. So for the bow, you want a piece that is about arm length, like so. Uh, you don't want to put this too tight on there because you still have to uh, turn it around the drill. So yeah, don't tighten this too much. You can always tighten. You can better use a little bit more than a little bit too less. Uh, what I also look for is a bit flexible wood, like this piece. I could also use it as a bow. <laughs> so yeah, let's uh, start and uh, make this uh, friction fire. So yeah, for the spindle, I want want it to be about 20 centimeters, I think. So like this. As you can see, it's not mirror anymore because I also had to send back mine, but it's fixed. So this is about right for the spindle. I'm gonna make some points on there. One sharp point, not too sharp. Just like this. This corners off a little bit. This wood might be too soft already. I can feel. I want this side to be blunt, like this. Uh, gonna take off the outer layer of this, just to make, just, just to give it a little bit more friction with my, uh, with my rope. And the core felt hard enough, so it should be good, I think. I'm 
And by the way, in a survival situation, you should always look for tinder first thing. Because when it's moist or it could start to rain, uh, it's Im it is important that you pre-dry your tinder in your pockets. Because it will be much e easier to light this um, with the coal. Alright, that's about good for my spindle. Now to make the board. It's already split. As you can see. Get rid of these hard pieces. Size of the board don't matter, it's just a nice long board. So this piece feels a little bit too soft, so I think I'm going for this part. I'm gonna flatten the underside a little bit. Alright, the board is ready. Now what I'm going to do is, so I'm going to make a tiny hole in here for the spindle so it doesn't slip out on my first uh, attempt. And I'll do that with the tip of my knife. Oh, this wood is soft. It's gonna give me a hard time. <laughs> like so. And this is where uh, the spindle will spin in. So yeah, um, I'm gonna pre-drill this hole now. So what I forgot to show you is <laughs> to make the top part, I just uh, used this some piece of oak. Uh, you need to use a harder piece of wood than the spindle and this oak is good for the job. Um, just made, made a indentation on there using the same method using my tip of the blade. And what I like to do is collect some greeneries and smash them up in that hole to lessen the friction make it a little bit wet so this doesn't burn that easy. Now to uh, tension your bow, press the outer part to your body and press it into the ground like so and pop it in. There you have it. Now I am going to try this the other way but this will be the left-handed uh, version. Uh, put the spindle in there, put your feet next to it to hold the board in place. Push the top piece on there. You can hold it still with your hand, pressed against your leg. Oh! As you can see, but now I'm going to 
make this motion and use as much as the bow as possible. As you can see, I've, I've pre-drilled the hole and it is going pretty fast. So this is going to be a one-turn attempt. Although, if this doesn't work, we'll be, we have to make a new hole. So, let's collect some tinder. Right, I collect some different uh, tinder materials. I have some dried bracken from last year. I have some dead grass it's very dry I have some very dry moss and some kind of flower what I like to do is put this all together mix it up and make a little bit of a, of a bird's nest with your fingers and that is where the coal will, um, will be put into but yeah, first let's create a call. <laughs> first things first, we have to make an indentation here so the dust can pile up. So yeah, let's do that. Normally, I would do this using a saw or a small blade. But now, I can use the tip of the A1. So, let's see if this will work. So, next up, you want a piece of bark or whatever uh, to put the board on that can collect the dust for you otherwise it will fall on the ground and you will have no way of putting the coal into your tinder bundle so again green stuff smashing it into the top putting that spindle in there again Gonna place my foot. Yeah, yeah, you guys have to watch my, my toes. <laughs> I know. I made better videos, I'm sorry. But it's too hot for shoes. Now I'm going to press my hand against my leg and in the bundle out of the way. Let's try this. I'm using the whole bank of this uh, of this bow drill. And I'm starting to use force. Yeah, that is some kind of all right. I think this might work. I'm going to fasten up this paste, and as you can see, it's smoking like crazy. And as you see, it absolutely failed. Why? Because of this uh, indentation I made, it's too small. So the stuff didn't pile up right. So yeah, let's make another hole. Try again. Try on error. So I decided to try one more time, make this hole a little bit deeper. So it could collect 
the dust better. So let's give it one more time, one more try. I think we have it. Smoking coal. As you can see, a smoke coal, but we did it. All right, nice. All right. Now I have to be careful because this smoke coal will burn out quickly. I'm gonna loosen this coal up a little bit with the stick. I'm gonna. Put it on here, gently. Now I'm gonna squeeze this together. I will start blowing. Do you believe that? Oh my god. It didn't work. Damn. Alright. A new hole. And then one more try. So one more try. Got some more tinder. Made a new hole. There we go. And like I said, wood doesn't have doesn't the wood needs to be hard enough, not too soft, but not too hard. And this wood is actually a bit too soft, sadly. So again. This time we shall succeed. I shall not give up. I think we have a call. Problem is, you are a bit exhausted from. Oh, the call fell apart. Oh god, the call fell apart. And that's what ruined it. Oh my God. Sometimes you have it at the first attempt, and then you don't just. And the other time, it seems like an impossible job, <laughs> even though it's bone dry now. Never expect the friction fire to be easy because it isn't. All right. Let me catch my breath a little bit. Something wrong with this tinder. All right, let's do this. Heat.
Oh man, that was one of the toughest friction fires I made in my whole life. Oh no, that's not true. <laughs> the first friction fire I ever made was harder. But damn, it took some effort. Oh boy. So, a too soft board, the bow, a two soft drill <laughs> and the Falk Neven A1 Pro, the ultimate survival knife. Can it make a friction fire? Yes. <laughs> of course any knife can, but hey, it's fun uh, using the A1 Pro for a job like this. I will soon make a sharpening video, perhaps now, perhaps I will make a sharpening video about the A1 Pro. Because this one, as you can see, isn't mirror anymore. <laughs> That's because I had to ship it back. Because uh, the finger guard came loose from the handle, and many people had that problem with the A1 Pro. And uh, yeah, Falcon Evans warranty is, is awesome, so I just sent it back. They paid my shipping send one back to me brand new and the problem is fixed so uh, conclusion is I've uh, spoken to some friends on YouTube who had the same problem and yeah I think we can conclude that the problem with the A1 Pro was just a faulty batch of knives so yeah problem seems to be fixed so I'm really happy and now this A1 Pro should make one of the best survival knives in the world I'm pretty sure of that because the COS2 is awesome, uh, thickness is amazing on this knife, it handles real well and yeah as long as we don't have that problem which the problem itself wasn't, uh, the issue with the knife wasn't really uh, aff affecting the performance of the blade but yeah it was a problem that shouldn't be there on an expensive blade like this but luckily Falkneven uh, has a really really good customer service, I have excellent experience with, uh, with the customer service Send mine back, got a new one, problem fixed, no issues with it. So we got our friction fire, I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, please like and subscribe and keep watching for more fun videos.